Hello, Washita, and welcome back to the Washita News Show. I'm Jay Brumsey. And I'm Haley Short. It is homecoming week here at Washita, and campus is lively as ever. Today is the first Tiger Tune show. Last night, clubs and organizations performed in full costume for each other. And tonight, ticket holders will be waiting anxiously at the door to see the show. Well, Washita students haven't only been busy with Tiger Tunes in the midst of a busy season, Hundreds of students gave back to the city of Arkadepia with Tiger Serve Day, where they served the community through a number of projects, from washing windows, washing cars, raking leaves, and more. Lily Roddy has the story at the scene. Tiger Serve Day is upon us, the once a semester event that allows all faculty, students, and staff to gather together to support the Arkadelphia community. Tiger Serve Day is composed of teams of six to eight volunteers working together at nonprofits, homes of senior adults, schools, and churches, as well as on city cleanup jobs. Jobs take about three hours to complete. Raking, trimming bushes, painting, and washing cars and windows are just a few examples of the task Washta has been working on today. This day is never just about what we get done in a yard or what we uh, clean, but it's so much about the time that we spent building relationships and building friendships with the people. When I think of Tiger Serve Day, I think of joy. I think of so many people who are just gathered wearing their shirts and just so excited to go out and serve the community. I remember the verse from Mark 10:45 that says, For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. And I think as Christians we're called to do the exact same thing. What an amazing experience to be a part of. Thanks, Lily. This year's Tiger Serve Day theme was Be Present, and students embodied that by directing their full attention to their projects. And the weather was perfect. I'm hoping for that crisp fall sunshine to continue. Josh, what's our weather looking like? Thank you, Haley. Guys, this week is going to be amazing. It is homecoming week, and let me tell you, the weather is great. You guys can see here, we got sun all week which is awesome. It's actually been pretty darn rare this semester for us to just get mostly sun. Uh, usually there's been some clouds every week, uh, but this time we got some great weather for homecoming. Now there is a caveat with that and we've got temperatures up just a little bit higher uh, than usual uh, for this time of year. So that's not great. Um, so keep that in mind, especially we all know us Washita students are very, very busy during homecoming week and so you guys are going to be more active so keep that in mind especially as you're outside that those temperatures are going to be higher um, moving into later actually more likely next week we are going to be seeing temperatures drop back down about 10 degrees uh, more than likely starting on wednesday so keep that in mind uh, but moving into today, we have a high of 93, low of 61. The real feel is 98, so it's pretty warm. Keep that in mind. Uh, and there's very few clouds out, mostly sun. Moving into Saturday, our homecoming football game. Guys, it's going to be the hottest day of the week. Uh, this is slightly outdated. It is now a high of 97 on Saturday. Uh, so keep that in mind. It is going to be very hot, very little, sun, uh, very little clouds. And so that means you need to make sure you're keeping sunscreen on you and just watch out for that heat, especially as we, it, it, the game is at noon, which is the middle of the day, one of the hottest parts of the day. Um, Tigers, I hope you have an amazing homecoming week. Numbers are provided by AccuWeather. Back to the desk. Thanks for that update, Josh. I am so glad the weather is looking great for homecoming this week. There are so many that have worked hard to piece together an amazing homecoming this year. As students, we are incredibly thankful for the people that work hard to make significant events like homecoming run smoothly. Speaking of that homecoming game, the world of sports at Washita has been on fire. Let's turn to Lexi Lunsford for our Roar Rundown. Thank you, Haley. To begin our Roar Rundown this week, Washita football defeated Arkansas Monticello 45 to 25 on the road this past Saturday night. The Tigers scored on the game opening drive, capped by a 73 yard touchdown pass from Riley Harms to Connor Flanagan. Kendall Givens turned in his best rushing game as a Tiger with 22 carries for a career high 171 yards. The Tiger defense then forced a turnover on downs on UAM's first drive, and the overall performance from the Tigers defense was led by Josiah Johnson with 10 tackles. 
Kendall Gibbons, and Carter McAnally have been selected as Players of the Week by the Great American Conference following their standout performances against UAM. The Tigers move on to Week 5 with a 4-0 record, preparing to take on Southeastern Oklahoma State at Cliff Harris this Saturday for homecoming. The women's tennis team combined for nine wins at the ITA Regionals over the weekend at Edmond Center Court in Edmond, Oklahoma. Sadaboroy Kodorova made it to round 16 of the A single flight and finished 2-1. and one. She was the only player from the Great American Conference School to advance that far in the main flight. The Tigers are now at home for the first time this year, this weekend, for the Washita Tennis Alumni and Friends Homecoming Tournament beginning Saturday. Women's volleyball had their three-game win streak come to an end Thursday night as the Tigers dropped their match to the Harding Bisons by a score of 3-1 to one on the road. Riley Brazil led the offense with 13 kills, which was a season high. Avery Jouse led the back row with the career-high 23 digs. Courtney Hansen led all setters with 39 assists, a season high for Hansen. The Tigers will take on Southern Arkansas on the road this Thursday. Women's soccer opened the Great American Conference play on Wednesday, September 20th at home with a 1-1 draw against Harding. Michelle Snow came up with four saves in the game, including one in the 76th minute to avoid a potential go-ahead goal for the Bisons. The Tigers were off this weekend and looking forward to the next game set for Wednesday, September 27th against Northwestern Oklahoma State to close out a four-game homestand. Finally in sports, men's soccer opened the Great American Conference play on Thursday with a 2-0 loss to Harding at home. Both teams battled to scoreless first half and it stayed that way until the final 25th minutes. Messiah Nitta recorded a new career high with eight saves in his complete game goal. The Tigers are back in action this Thursday, September 28th, at home against Fort Hayes State. I'm Lexi Lunsford, and this has been your World Rundown. Thanks for that update, Lexi. Looking ahead at this week, we have some pretty exciting festivities on Thursday. After tunes, you can head over to Berry Chapel for the traditional Homecoming Week refuge service. And don't miss the Purple Plaza party taking place during the lunch hours on Friday. Clubs and organizations will both have booths and activities set up for all students to mingle and enjoy. You will also see the homecoming court be presented to the campus. Don't forget to vote for homecoming queen before Friday at 3 p.m. Now, I love events that take place after Tiger Team's performances, too. The men of Kappa Chi are hosting a cookout on campus at 9.30 on Friday, and the men of Eta Alpha Omega are hosting their traditional mug-in event after the Saturday late performance of Tunes. Grab a hot dog and a root beer and soak up these moments with your friends. Finally, life groups are kicking off on Sunday with a get-together on Comb Bottoms Lawn. All of this talk about Washita traditions make me think about all of the memories I've created here at Washita. Now everyone has an answer to this. So on our social media, we ask you what your favorite Washita tradition is, and we're sharing some of your responses here on the show. Allison Rogers said Battle of the Ravine Weekend. Pamela Fisher and Lacey Llewellyn both said tunes. And Heller Donovan said midnight cinnamon rolls during finals week. What's your favorite tradition, Haley? Uh, those are all great traditions, but I am a sucker for mugging. I think one year I drank five root beers, which is a new record for me. So I won't be doing that again, though. But <laughs> also, I love Tiger Tunes, and you can yeah. probably hear it in my voice. I get so yeah. excited every year, scream yeah. for all the clubs. But it's been a great year so far, and I'm looking forward to see what we have ahead. Absolutely. Well, that's all we have for you today. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at Washita News Show and to answer each question of the week. You just might see your responses pop up on the show. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Washita News Show, so you never miss out on the latest and greatest Washita news. We'll see you next week.